Hey there, viewers. Your personality can instantly attract people, but did you know your body language plays an important role too? You will be judged on your looks in the first few seconds of somebody meeting you. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. A sluggish posture can bring on some serious health problems from neck pain to tight back muscles, respiratory problems, and headaches. In today's video, we are discussing exercises that can help you stand taller and healthier. Do you think planking would help? What about that wall exercise? We're discussing all that and more. But how do you know if your posture is bad? Let's do a quick posture check. A simple visual examination will help. Stand in front of your mirror and have a good look at your physique. Do you see rounded shoulders, bent knees, or a neck that is falling forward? If yes, your posture is on the poorer side. You need to make a few lifestyle modifications. If your work involves sitting in front of the computer or using cell phones, you are sure to get a text neck. Even if you remind yourself to quit slouching and sit up straight, it'll only be temporary. A person with a good posture will always have their ears, shoulders, and hips in a straight line when viewed sideways. Your spine has a natural S-curve and it needs to be maintained. There's another test you can do at home by standing against the wall with the back of your head touching. Make sure your heels are not touching the wall and are at least six inches away. In this position, your shoulder blades and butt will touch the wall. There will be a space between your neck and the lower part of the back. Have someone help you measure that space. If it's less than two inches, then great, you have a fabulous posture. If not, then your faulty posture needs to be fixed. You'll need to strengthen your abdominal muscles and back. Studies have shown that if you exercise your back and neck regularly, slouching will be difficult and you'll be trained to sit and walk upright. Can't wait to check out the exercises? Then grab a pair of joggers and your mat and let's get started with the child's pose. Mommies might recognize this pose from their prenatal yoga classes. It's not just for pregnant people. Child's pose is so relaxing and therapeutic that your body will crave for more. Sit on your shin bones facing the mat. Now bend forward and let both your knees be under the hips. Toes should be touching together. You can adjust the distance between the two knees according to your comfort. Now let your hands extend and touch the top of your mat. Slowly sink your hips on your heels and your forehead to the mat. Initially, if your muscles are too tight, your hips might not touch the heels. In that case, feel free to use a pillow or towel below your thighs. Give it some time in a few days and you'll be a pro. Take deep breaths five to 10 times and return to your original position. You can do it for five minutes after you wake up or before going to bed, but remember not to do it in bed as it requires a hard surface. It will lengthen your spine, glutes, hamstrings, lower back, and neck. Want to mix up this exercise? Try the forward fold. Stand comfortably on your mat. Set your feet hip width apart, roll your shoulders back and down and place your hands on your waist. Keep your back flat and start bending forward. Lift your hips towards the ceiling. Let your hands follow the bending movement and slide from the waist to thighs, to the knees, and ultimately to the floor. Go as far as you can, but you don't have to focus on touching your hands to the ground. Eventually, when you've reached the furthest position, your head should be hanging heavy with your chin tucked into your chest. This simple exercise will increase your flexibility, range of motion in your joints, and improve the quality of your life. Hold this position for 30 seconds and do it four to five times. Want to try something challenging? Let's do some planks. Planks are great for your core muscles, back, and shoulders. They increase your overall fitness, too. Get on all fours. Remember to avoid caving the shoulders. Your thumbs should be exactly under your shoulders. Don't relax your belly while planking. Now, step back your legs one by one and press your toes down on the mat. You will feel a slight pull in your thighs. Your tailbone will lengthen. Gaze forward or on your mat. Make sure your butt is not sticking out. Awesome! You've now mastered the high plank. Do three to five rounds for 10 breaths. If you're feeling exceptionally strong, then do the exact same steps, but this time on your forearms. Instead of resting the upper body on your palms, try resting on the base of the fists. You can also interlace your fingers and hold the plank for as long as you can. Do you want to double up the challenge? Then why don't you try some side planks? It's the ultimate package for developing balance and aligning the spine with the legs. It is the top favorite of many Pilates, yoga, HIIT, and bar workouts. There are so many ways that a side plank can go wrong and can cause injury, so pay attention to details. It targets the side of your body and gives a killer burn. You can easily transition into a side plank from a high plank. While going to one side, always check if your shoulder and wrists are in a straight line. Have a strong base by stacking your feet on top of one another. You can also stagger the feet. 
Maintain the position of your core without letting your hips sink or rise. Your obliques should lift the body away from the mat. Hold for 30 seconds and change sides when you're done with 10 to 12 reps. You can also alternate sides. Staying active by doing planks and side planks can also help you recover faster from injuries. Ready to add a fun twist? I'm counting you in for some hip dips. Get into your forearm plank position and flip your waist from one side to the other. Let the right hip slowly touch the ground, then come up to the center. Without stopping, twist on the left side and let the left hip touch the ground. Slowly return to the plank position. I know it sounds wild. Don't worry, start slowly and one day you will ace it. Always prefer quality over quantity. Maintain your body alignment and do 10 to 12 reps. Repeat the whole set three times. The secret for great posture is not just tiring exercises. Some old but very effective exercises like the cat-cow also work wonders. Begin the cat pose on your knees and palms. Exhale and arch your spine. Imagine you had to touch your spine to the ceiling. Hold this cat position for one minute. Time to go to cow position by dropping your tummy down to the floor. Lift your gaze towards the ceiling while you're still maintaining balance on your hands and knees. Hold the cow position for one minute. Do these for at least five minutes. You'll notice all the tension in your shoulders, neck, and torso leave your body. It surely will improve your blood circulation and, of course, posture. But did you know that you could do the cat-cow exercise in a standing position? Stand hip width apart and place your hands on the knees. Maintain a slight bend in the knees. The standing cat cow is a great way to improve your flexibility and will target different groups of muscles. Now when you round your spine, you will activate the core. It will help you hold and lift. Then look up and do the exact opposite movement. Extend your head and face the sky. Hold each position for five breaths and repeat it for five minutes. This exercise can be easily squeezed into your morning stretches. Speaking of stretching, how about a great stretch for your chest muscles? The next one is called the chest opener. All those desk jobs are causing so much rolling of the shoulders. While sitting and scrolling, your head is coming down and forward, ruining your posture. This exercise can help get rid of brain fog at work. Wondering how? Let me explain. When your shoulders collapse, your lungs get compressed. Your lung capacity may be reduced and the vital organs are supplied with less oxygenated blood. With chest opener exercises, you can fill more oxygen in your lungs and get rid of the tiredness and fatigue at work. Bring your hands back till your fingers are interlaced. Don't worry if they don't touch. Simply use a towel, broom handle, dog leash, literally anything to grasp by both hands. Don't let your elbows bend anywhere. Hold the towel taut and as close as possible. Automatically, you'll feel your head, neck, and spine aligning. Remember to look forward and hold the pose for five breaths. Repeat it 10 times. You can take a break from your desk and do this quick stretching without any exercise. Looking to target your thoracic spine? Then the next one is for you. I'm talking about the book opener exercise or the thoracic spine rotation. It is pretty simple but effective. It's going to extend and strengthen that thoracic part of your spine and improve your mobility. The thoracic spine works with the lungs and other accessory breathing muscles. You can get an edge over your movement if you synchronize it with your breathing. Get in a side lying position. Doesn't matter which side because you have to focus on both to maintain balance. Bend your knees at 90 degrees and stack them over each other. Stretch out your hand that's touching the floor. Put your second hand on top of it without any bending. Now open your top hand to 180 degrees and try to touch the back of the hand to the floor on the opposite side. Remember to keep your knees locked. Hold the position for 20 seconds and repeat five to 10 times on each side. Want an office verified exercise? We have it all. Let's focus on the stiffness in the shoulders. Isometric rowing can be done even if you don't have the strength to power through the full range of motion in strenuous exercises. Sit in a comfortable chair. Bend your elbows and let the palms face each other. Now pull both the elbows behind and touch them to the back of the chair. You may experience a good squeeze as those shoulder blades come together. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Exhale and come back to the starting position. There is no limit on how many times you can do this exercise, so feel free to do it when you're bored sitting at your desk. There's another exercise that helps to get rid of knots in your upper back, the famous wall exercise. Get to a wall every couple of hours whether you're traveling or working. Put your hands behind your head and interlock your fingers. Start from the point where your elbows touch the wall till the entire back of the arm is resting against it. Remember to move your head up with the stretch. It will really help to line up your spine. Back pain is often the earliest sign of poor posture. If it's not addressed timely, it can dial up to permanent disc damage of the spine. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more back-related videos, shall we? Watch eight safe and effective exercises for lower back pain. 
or seven reasons why your back is hurting. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to make your back strong. Do you know any other exercises for posture correction? Let us know in the comments below.